Meghan and Harry blasted for oversharing as royal family health battles continue. Hello, welcome to the Royal Daily Times, before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been criticised for oversharing amid the royal family's current health battles. Many royal fans have made a fuss on social media over the Princess of Wales's absence from her duties, despite knowing she will be staying away until after Easter due to undergoing abdominal surgery in January. The Princess of Wales is said to be doing well in her recovery, but Kensington Palace has provided little information as she continues her recovery in Windsor. Palace aides were forced to issue a statement earlier this week stressing that the princess has a right to privacy after speculation flowed on social media about her continued absence. Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield, has now said there are only two people to blame for the public's unrealistic expectations that royals should be more open and honest, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Speaking on Talk TV, Ms Schofield said, if I'm honest with you, I think it's Harry and Meghan who have overshared over the last few years. They have made our expectations unrealistic when it comes to the amount of information we receive about the notoriously mysterious working royals. That's part of the glamour, that's part of the reason we like them so much and care about them because there are usually a lot of question marks around them, and what happens behind the scenes and in real life. The Princess of Wales has not been seen in public since Christmas Day at Sandringham Estate, where the royal family usually spends the festive period. The palace confirmed on January 16 that the mother of three had been admitted to a London clinic for a planned abdominal surgery. In the same statement, they confirmed that the surgery was successful but that the prince is scheduled to remain in hospital for up to two weeks. Princess Kate was discharged from hospital on January 29, then returned to her home in Windsor to continue her recovery in the presence of Prince William and their three children. The latest statement, issued this week, said, Kensington Palace has clarified the timelines for the princess's recovery in January, and we will only provide important updates. This guidance stands. The palace has yet to confirm Kate's official diagnosis, although it is not believed to be related to cancer. As well as the Princess of Wales health struggle, the King was previously admitted to the same hospital as his daughter-in-law, and was released on the same day after a three-day stay. Just one week after being released from hospital, the palace announced that the King had been diagnosed with an unknown type of cancer, which, although discovered during previous tests, was unrelated to his hospital stay. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.